What's going on guys, T-Mart here and welcome to the first episode of Advanced Warfare Gun Guide. In this series, I'm going to be going through all the weapons in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, breaking them down in three minutes or less, completely trimming all the fat and irrelevant information, and only giving you guys the most important stats, info, and recommended setups to help you improve your multiplayer game. So, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the Ball 27 Assault Rifles. So, uh, starting off here, Iron Sights. They're really, really good. I'm a big fan of these things. There's not really a lot of bulk or, or you know, kind of stuff to obstruct your vision when you're aiming down sight of enemies. So, it's definitely not necessary to run an optic on this weapon. Sometimes I will. You know, obviously it does help a bit, but it's not necessary. You can easily get by with just the Iron Sights, which is a good thing. Now, uh, next up for damage. It does 40 damage up close and then 24 damage at a distance which makes the three to five shot kill depending on how far away you are from the enemies so uh, this is about average for the assault rifles in call of duty advanced warfare and really across all the call of duties like usually they're like this you know three to five shot kill range so uh, it looks pretty good there but where it really stands out is its rate of fire. So, uh, just a quick note, the Ball 27 does fire faster over time. The first four shots that you shoot are a little bit slower, and then it speeds up for the rest of the magazine. And, uh, and overall, the, the total RPM is about 720 rounds per minute, which is the fastest assault rifle in the game. And that's where it just, it completely melts people. It's a killing machine. That is what makes this weapon so good. Now, uh, moving on, usually, with an increased rate of fire, you're going to have more recoil, right? Wrong, in this case at least. So, uh, the recoil on this thing is great. Check it out right here. There's not really a lot of vertical or horizontal movement. It's more of just kind of like a, a tight little circle. So, really, wherever you're aiming, you're going to be sending a ton of bullets in that general direction. You're not going to kick off, you know, super high or super far to the right or anything like that. So, uh, that's really good for taking out enemies. Now, uh, next up for the magazine size, you've got 32 rounds in your normal mag or 48 if you've got extended mags on, which is pretty good. You know, it, it's not exceptional, but it's good. You have enough bullets bullets in there to kill you know three four maybe even five people if you're careful with one magazine which is uh, is pretty solid reload time is around two seconds which again is good it's not exceptional but it's good for an assault rifle so uh, it's pretty solid there and then finally for my recommended setup there are three attachments that I love on this weapon the foregrip the quick draw grip and the stock use any combination you want use one of them use two of them use all three they're all extremely extremely good on this weapon and for the play style you should be using this weapon for other attachments that are, you know, good but not quite as helpful as those uh, are, you know, optics. Like, you know, the red dot sight is a slight improvement over the iron sights, but it's nothing too crazy. Uh, the suppressor is good if you're trying to stay silent. The parabolic microphone is good if you're trying to hear, you know, enemies with silencers and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, the foregrip, the quick draw grip, and the stock are all absolutely wonderful attachments on this weapon. So, anyway, there you guys have it. We were literally right at three minutes right when we finished there. So, that was good timing. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to the rest of the series. If you are, make Make sure to hit that like button. These videos actually take quite a bit to put together, so your support is appreciated. And, and please, let me know which weapon you guys want to see next down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Check out these two videos if you have not seen them yet. And peace out, guys.